hello everyone welcome back to another treasure design tutorial today i am going to make a of course you can see a rock music treasure design and for this one i am going to use some vector elements these are all from freepik so i will add the download link in the description okay not in description in my facebook group and i am going to use some of these elements from here i don't know if i will use all of it or not just picking some random elements here now for this one here this is style design so when you are working with vectors you can see there are some like there are some white in this design and we don't want it so for this one i'm going to remove the white and for uh, removing the white we can use the trim option here like i am selecting this one then open pathfinder tool and click on this trim so when it is trimmed it is going to cut out everything as it is so if i take my magic wand tool select the white only then press delete so it is going to make it complete like black color removing the white now i am making sure that it is complete black for this one also i am going to use this trim option then double click here I am double clicking because if I do not isolate this group like if I am not inside this group then if I like select magic wand and click on this white it is going to select everything that is in white in this design so that is the reason I need to first of all I need to trim it then double click to isolate this one now if I select this white with my magic wand tool like this it is going to select only this white nothing else will be affected by this so this is the reason i am isolating them and then making it look like this now for this one here this is a group so i can simply double click to isolate each and every element like this one trim then this one trim i'm going to use this one here okay sometime it takes time to trim some elements like this so once it is done as you can see if i select my magic wand tool and then click on this white it is going to select everything that is in white and delete it so that is fine maybe this is a little extra tone of white so i need to erase that part too now it is erased and as you can see these are this becomes like this is staying as it is separate group so i'm going to select this four element control x to cut it control f to paste in front now they are not inside that group everything is separate layer something like this maybe this star i need to remove this part of this white that is fine and I, I am removing everything because i want to create a black design first then i will use whatever color i want so this is going to be a very elemental vectorized t-shirt design as you can see there is tons of elements i'm going to use in this one now for the first step i am going to keep it keep this my center graphic okay not like that something like this this must maybe a bit bigger in size now this is the front panel like my character this is my character my main focus <laughs> like the rock star so he is going to play that disc here something like this i can select them then align them center wise just to make sure that everything is in center position that is fine so this one i am going to use something like a bit bigger in size maybe in this area then i'm going to make a copy here just like this right click reflect then click ok so this too i need to make it in the center align like this then i'm going to make it a group then if i select all of them i can align them center wise so this is the center position for my that graphic now this part may be a bit bigger in size something like this okay so this part i want to keep it on top this two in bottom 
so i am selecting my this dex option then i am selecting this group okay sorry for that i am pressing ctrl c to copy this one then selecting this group and inside the transparency of it i need to open the transparency sorry for that this one double click to open then click on this clip option to make them visible now i'm pressing ctrl f so ctrl f will make it paste in front like in the exact same place this disk option now i need my pathfinder again then merge unite so merge unite will make it a complete one single shape you can see inside this transparency here make sure that it is complete black that is fine so it is looking like this like this part is looking on top right now and the box is in the bottom okay so that much is fine okay let's click here so this part i will use a bit later so this is the rock star like the star sign okay first of all is i am going to make these three a group so that i don't lose their position because if i lose the position whatever i pasted inside the transparency will erase so i am placing this one kind of this area maybe then selecting them again to make sure that it is in the center position so i am going to press ctrl c to copy now i am selecting this group then open the transparency press ctrl f so it is going to look like this i am pressing shift m for shape builder then just combining the center graphic and it becomes a complete single shape and as you can see this much it is looking like right now but it is not complete black so that's why we can see those elements in the background so i'm selecting this shape and then make sure that it is complete black then click ok and that will make it completely invisible so that is the rules of transparency click here now for this one here i am going to place it something like this then a bit bigger in size maybe this much okay so i'm selecting this one ctrl c i need to select my this group again then inside the transparency press ctrl f so it is going to paste in front now merge unite to make it one single shape again now i don't know what it is it has done like you can see here so i am just making sure that it is complete black just like this so that is fine now i am pressing ctrl c to make a copy of this shape the skull shape then click here now if i select my this star option then open the transparency for it and press ctrl f so this is going to paste that exact same shape on top of my star and this is how it is visible right now so this is the dj whoever is going to play this music theme here that is fine i wanted to use this guitar here like something in a way where it will be visible okay i think it's hard to make it visible because it is a long graphic so something like this area okay let's make it smaller just to place in the area then make a copy here right click transform reflect just like this fine then align them, them center wise then make it a group okay so this position is done like everything i wanted to do here is done so i'm selecting them and making them a group every time i am making a group is because i don't want to lose their position now this is the position of my this two guitar here maybe a bit bigger in size now these two guitar i want to keep them on top of my this sound box so i'm pressing ctrl c now i need to isolate this group like selecting the sound box group only then inside the transparency i'm going to press ctrl f so it is going to look like this now i'm going to make it merge unite so merge unite is going to make it complete one single shape and making sure that it is complete black just like this and then i'm going to isolate from the transparency and this is how it is going to look so you can see okay so i can make it a bit bigger right now maybe in this because i have another idea that is this two guitar i can place them 
on top of my this sound box and this is how it is going to look it is going to be visible so i'm copying this one again then inside the transparency of the sound box i'm going to select the previous two guitar delete it then press ctrl f it is going to look like this then just i'm going to make it merge unite to make it complete one single shape then i'm going to make it complete black just like this so complete black will make it complete invisible from this area that is fine so as you can see this is how it is looking right now okay so it may look like a bit busy here but nothing just going wrong that is fine so i'm going to do another thing that is i'm going to select my this star because that is not visible here so for making that visible i'm going to make an offset path for that this much is a bit bigger maybe a bit smaller something like this click ok then press ctrl x to cut it now i want to just place it on top of my this two sound box group ok maybe first step is i am going to select my guitar then i am going to place it place the star on inside the group of the guitar vector making sure that it is complete black so that is fine now copying this shape click here now i need to select my this sound box group just like this then inside the transparency press ctrl f so it is going to make it visible so i'm going to as you can see we are inside the transparency of the sound box now if i select it here we have pasted this shape here so i can copy this one ctrl c now click here to isolate now if i select my this star only then inside the transparency i'm pressing ctrl f so that is going to make it look like this <coughs> so as you can see this is how it is looking right now but i want to just <coughs> i'm just copying this one then you can see there is a problem here inside the area but that is fine let's select my this group here this sound box group and inside the transparency i have this shape and this shape together so if i press shift m i can delete this part from here and that is how it is going to look like this and as you can see this shape is the okay so this is the star shape and that that same shape we pasted inside the transparency of this guitar so we can select it press ctrl f to place the shape of this disc then <laughs> pressing ctrl m i don't know if this becomes too much complicated <laughs> or not so i'm just erasing this part now everything looks fine that is good so this is how it is looking right now now for this part the graphic part is done let's make it a group together that is fine now for the text part here so for the text okay before the text i wanted to use this rockster hand hand sign something like in this area then i wanted to use this wings here just to make it a just to make it look like something of a rockster vibe so that is fine i am selecting this hand shape ctrl c to copy selecting this wings group then inside the transparency of wing i am going to place my that rockster hand then merge unite to make it black like this okay guys so this is very repeating process and i am not liking this one so for fixing that i'm going to select my magic wand tool and click on this black so whatever is in black inside this design area i'm selecting everything then i am going to double click here to open my color panel then i'm going to make it complete black so that's how i will not need to do that again and again so this is how it is looking right now that is fine let's select our this sound box group so ctrl c to copy now i am selecting this one and then this one making them a group and then inside the transparency of it i am going to place my sound box then press merge unite in your pathfinder tools 
so this is going to make invisible this area invisible that is fine let's click here now if i select my this group here this sound box group and inside the transparency i will find this skull shape the shape of this skull i'm going to copy this one that is fine then i'm going to select my this rock star okay not rock star hand just this group then inside the transparency i'm pressing ctrl f so it is going to make it this area invisible from this end and it is going to look like this so this is my graphic part done right now let's make it a group everything a group here now i'm going to use my this text here so this is my rock music maybe i will use my go everywhere font yeah this font is really good and i'm going to make it let's not just use it let's use some stylish way to place my text i'm pressing shift text to make it a stroke i'm selecting all of it align them center wise that is fine i'm going to select my this text and press shift t for the task type tool now i can move this m a little further because this font has a problem like this so i'm selecting this ctrl x to cut now selecting my this ellipse here now with the type on path tool i'm going to press ctrl v that is going to place my rock rock music text in this area like on the ellipse and now i can place it center wise that is fine so this much is fine for me that is good now for this area i wanted to <coughs> use some more text here okay so <laughs> this is not looking very good but if i zoom in this is going to this is a tons of details here that is fine let's born to be a i'm going to use this rock star text here with this same same font same size and then this is going to be the okay let's i'm selecting this one maybe i will exp use my explorer font here explorer that is fine i'm going to select this one then ctrl c ctrl f to paste in front that means making a copy of it now making this copy a little smaller like this then selecting this one ctrl x to cut if i double click here that text is selected now i can press ctrl v that will paste my new text here in whichever font i have it like i can simply make it like this okay maybe a bit smaller because i don't want to overlap with my hand here maybe i can increase the uh, space between the text a little bit here that is fine born to be a rock star so this is another focus point now this part is done so i am selecting my this two text and break it that is fine i am going to break my this font of course also then i am pressing ctrl r so ctrl r means ruler so i am going to bring to ruler here okay sorry for that just like this that is fine now maybe i can select this two text to make it align with my ruler just like this then maybe a bit up because i don't want to overlap it now <coughs> i'm going to select my this text here make it same size bigger just like this but not okay so this much is good for me let's use our other text true love always in my soul so this true love i am going to make it my explorer font but in this serif option so i am going to make them two part just like this then select them okay let's break it make it same size smaller because i have some extra space here i can fill this space with this text here so something like this selecting them then maybe make it bigger like this just as big as to 
fill this area something like this then this one I'm going to make it in this area align them center wise then maybe this one a bit closer to the on here that is fine now for this area I have another text here okay let's I don't know which font it will look good so let's make it the same serif font always in my soul so I'm going to always in my soul I'm going to make it like this that is fine I need to break it because I don't need to act it as a font anymore I'm going to make this a group this a group so that is fine maybe I will use it okay so let's not use it like this always in my soul I'm going to keep it as online that will be easier to place it it will be a bit smaller in size but that is fine just like this then for this area here as you can see there is some empty space for this area and this part so we can use this tape player I don't know what it calls cassette player or anything just we can make it we can place it like this because this is a music element that's what I know right now right click transform reflect to make it look like this then maybe select this two and then place it something like this okay so this is how it is looking right now I can select this one and this one control C to copy then selecting this group inside the transparency of it I can press control F then I can use my merge unite that is going to make it merge and unite then make it stay on top of everything so this is going to look like that and for this area here I just want to place them like okay I am inside the transparency so for this one here I'm not going to use it here let's use our start tool here just a star just like this maybe a bit bigger in size that is fine then go to object path offset path I'm going to make it little bit bigger okay not that much bigger just a bit fine control X to make it a stroke and then bigger make it expand just like this then selecting this to make it just I'm aligning everything with my ruler here because I don't want to okay I'm selecting this to making it a group this is really important making it a group then this two group I'm going to align them center wise that is fine then another copy here just because my this stud is not really visible so that is fine if I select my this sound box group something like this then inside the transparency I will found okay sorry I need to select this group only then inside the transparency I will find this guitar shape vector let's copy this one then click here isolate everything then selecting this two making them a group then inside the transparency I'm going to press control F so this is going to place my this guitar on top of my stars so that's it for this area clicking here now that much is fine for me last thing that I want to do here maybe I will bring this to a little closer to each other like closer to the my to my graphic then I am going to go to object path because the design is become becomes too much longer so something like this 
control x to cut it i'm going to select my this wings then inside the transparency i am pressing control f so this is as you can see only inside the like on top of the wings only i don't want this part to be visible so let's hide that part okay so that is fine but this area i don't want it here like sorry for that this hand i want it to be on top of my that text so we will do that now for this two text i'm going to make it a little smaller because the area is now not that much bigger here something like this then i'm going to align this with my let's select this two align them center wise like on top i'm just making sure that it is all same size then something like this area and this one i'm going to select it align them just like this so that is fine now for this one here i'm going to make it smaller because the area becomes smaller now and for this hand so this hand i want to like stay on top of my this born to be a rock star that text so if i select this wings group inside the transparency i will find this vector of this hand i'm going to copy this one click here then i'm going to select my this text only born to be a maybe a bit up that's fine then inside the transparency i'm going to press ctrl f and that is going to keep my hand on top of my text and as you can see this becomes a little less longer than before so that is fine now everything here is in black so i should i should have like i can make this complete black like this that is fine so this is for the this is the final design for today's video guys i hope you learned something new from this one like modifying the vectors that is really important for making designs like this now maybe just a bit smaller in size because you see this part of the text is not looking that much bigger so if i select my rockstar text make a offset path for them control x to cut it of course this to group like i should make them a group then ins open the transparency for them press ctrl f it is going to look like this then click here selecting this shape then inside the transparency press ctrl f so this is just to place everything here like this now i want to use my pen tool here because i don't want to make those areas visible you can use pen tool you can use your pencil tool whatever tool you prefer to use here so that is fine okay guys so this is my final design for this one i hope this will help you practicing advanced level vector work t-shirt design so that's it guys thank you for subscribing my channel thank you for your support see you in the next video guys have a great time